Hey everybody, we're back. What? Where is that box? Yeah, so if you're wondering why we're over here instead of where we were, uh, when I was exporting the last video, I thought, well, let me go see if I can figure out if I can move that box while we're just standing around. Um, and so we were wandering about, and I was in that last room where we found that one thing, and I said, oh, look, a wall, it's a dead end, and I turned around. Apparently there was a switch in the corner, which is what I'm standing on, and uh, we moved the box from this location to where it is now, and this door opened up, so that was my bad. I was, like, right next to it, basically. Ooh, meat recipe. Meat. Okay. So now we need to... You know what, actually? Mm -mm. I was like, we need to make sure we don't lose Kurt in here, because I keep losing Kurt, but, you know, if I write him, <laughs> I can't lose him. I don't want to keep saying that he's carrying me. I guess it's because I think it's still the ride button, even though in this case he's carrying me. He, Kurt cares about you a lot. He loves me. He's nodding. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, good. I was a little worried because it took so long for my last video to export. I was thinking something was wrong. I just finished. Normally I wait for it to finish before starting recording, but I was getting impatient. Okay, I don't think this is Kurt's thing. Um, now, if I do remember... They will get hurt if they touch this. It so, like Iris? Uh, Iris actually hasn't taken any damage yet, so I'm gonna put Mian in. I'm gonna really hope they change the camera angle for this. <laughs> I'm scared. Should I just go straight down first? Uh, down and then to the left. And you want to hug this left, top left post. Oh, <sighs> <sighs> Whew. there's one more. Can you go control the monster again? Or do you have to go get your own? Hold on, where? Chest? Ah, it opened okay. the door. I just didn't. I just didn't want um, me to run through. Open the chest. Apparently, I have to go behind it. Wait, did it not go all the way down? It did not. It must be a fourth room somewhere. I probably. Um, I think I know which one I missed because I'm silly. There was a door down here that I completely walked by. Da, 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 I wonder if it's just full da, 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 da. of monster fights. I mean, mm -hmm. let me see. Okay. It's a brown? Brown button. How do you know it's the brown button? There's a thing on the wall. Oh. Oh, something's written on the stone. People of the green should disaster rend the blue sky and the red green, flames and gold. Blue, gloves. red, gold. Green, blue, Yeah, red. but I just wanted to read it. Sorry. What does that mean? What about about the switches? Hmm. Well, let's try pushing one. Green. Green. Blue. Next. I'm oh, sorry. I'm so busy trying to remember. Did we guess right? Red. Maybe. Let's try one of the other ones next. Yeah, yeah she yellow. says the same thing. Well, what's happening? Wow. Compared to some of those other rooms, that was. Did the developers just fall asleep? Look, the pedal still came out. Right, let's move on. Clay. Oh, oh wait, maybe I should push the button. <laughs> push the button. I'm so excited about the clay. Why do I keep hearing weird noises? You were stepping on the little. Panels. Oh. All righty, here we go. God, I'm kind of glad we saved the last one, the easiest for last. Let's see what's down here. Tacos? That'd be kind of cool if it was a room full of tacos. I was just watching. I just watched the episode of Rocco's Modern Life on Netflix. It was like the the reboot special or whatever. And I liked how Heifer got a taco taco. He's like, it's a taco within a taco. <laughs> that was funny. Mm. Please don't be a Jack in the Cho. Okay, it's a flower. King I, I, I hear whoosh 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 noises, and that makes me nervous. What is that? Is that what, oh, is that the Genie? guy that, that told me to go away at the beginning? 
You're entering the cave of despair. The Bjarl, the Bjarl, you have done well to come this far. Soon you will see with your own eyes the scariest haunted spot in Campana. Is there a lot of haunted spots? Beware. Beware. It's a model! That's not haunted. It's just different. Oh, it's a really fat model. Dun, wow, look at this dun, big black wall-like thing. Dun, not that not my model lift. Huh? I, I can hear a voice. No, wait, I can hear somebody talking directly inside my head. She's gone crazy. Put Isn't her that down. what she just said? Animal is a spiritual power that connects our life. At its speak, can, tr can transcend the barrier of species and speak to the mind. Now I get it. This black wall thing is talking to me. Who in the world are you? My name is King Model. Lith. Monolith. <laughs> I've lived on this. I've lived on since the days of Tuchika. I see all. I tell all. I am the key. So you are the key to the head of Tochika, the head of Tochika talked about. Hmm, that voice. It must be a, a Tochika shrine. <laughs> yes, it's really deep. <laughs> Just that the Tochika protected. I've been waiting. No, this day. your voice isn't. Your voice can be deep. Mine can't be. Hmm, that voice. <laughs> it must be a Tochika shrine maiden. Just as the Tochika predicted, I've been awaiting this day. Let me guess. We have to prove ourselves by kicking its butt. Prove yourself by kicking my butt. Even though I have none. Okay, so tell me, what's going on? What do the residents of Warp want? Tell me what's going to happen. First of all, they want to teleport. Shrine Maiden, <laughs> show me the warrior's strength. If he has worthy strength, I will tell you all. Strength? Ugh, does that mean a battle? <laughs> I know that's not what I was supposed to read it as. Time but... for do 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 do. Yes, that is correct. Now then, let's let me see your strength. I hate fighting models. If any of you guys watched my first LP of the first two games, you guys already know how I feel about models. They are difficult. I mean, oh, this music is amazing. Sorry, I was listening to the music. Yeah, great. Seventeen hundred health. Whoa! No, 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 no! I didn't say you can move. Excuse you. Hold on. What does this do? Yes, let's do that. Okay. Whoa, okay. Dodge. <laughs> Guts recovery. Oh, wow, look at it go. Okay. I'm saving up to 50. You know what? Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to B Lariat. Now, B Attack does more damage, but has a lower. Oh, actually, you know what? No, because B Attack's higher hit, lower hit rate, but with my hit up with Crown Waltz, I should do better. And I'm going to definitely do Machine Gun again because that was amazing. And we don't need to hurt with Mian because Mian can't hurt it. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Dodge, dodge, dodge! Just don't hit Iris! <sighs> I don't know who he's hitting, but just not Iris. Iris is the one that's doing all- I think Iris is always the one that, that carries our butts through these fights. Oh, so is it random that he takes no damage? So it wasn't ah. just me and- Okay, so me and can be back in the fight. Although by this point, let's just have- Iris do machine gun. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, that was the quickest boss fight ever. Wow. Boss battle! For some reason, I remember that one being hard. Maybe you didn't have. I didn't have Iris. Iris. I love plants. Wait, a minute, I just realized I don't think plants are actually in the Moss Rancher Advance game I'm playing right now. Oh. Ooh, we got a large power tank! Nice! Maybe you can hook it up to your puddle. My water tank that does nothing. Uh -huh. I see. You have shown me strength. Very impressive for one so young. Then you'll tell us? No. <laughs> Alright. They are after Moo's horn. It is the ultimate Anima player. <gasps> oh no, not Moo. Moo. Anima player? Yeah, we haven't talked about that yet. Move along. <laughs> That's the horn. What they use... What? That's the horn. What they use are called black <laughs> instruments. Unlike the instruments in Tochika, they can control another's anima. You know, it's funny. We never notice these typos until we're reading them out loud. They could be used to brainwash monsters. 
and their pollute anima. They are terrible instruments. Terrible, oh. I say! Brainwashing monsters, that's terrible! That's what I said, terrible, I say! <laughs> and the most powerful of these instruments is Moo's Horn. It is the only instrument that can control the savage Moo. We're not controlling him, we're brainwashing him. Once Moo was free to roam and destroy at will, but then a horn was created that could control them. You're getting really excited about this. Moo. <laughs> if they were to get their hands on that horn, they would certainly use it to make Moo attack our world. Why? <gasps> That's incredible. Moo. <laughs> Moo's horn is located in Conga Conga, Conga Conga, far to the south. You must see my brother, Mau Mau. Ma Mau Mau. Go while there's still time. Y yes, I understand. Meow. Right? Meow. Uh-oh. <gasps> what? What's going on? King March. Whoopsie daisies. We royals have been protecting this monolith and its prophecies for generations. And now? It has been foretold that a group of heroes would appear to stop the disaster that threatens our world and I was to choose them. I choose you, <laughs> Pikachu. So that was the purpose of the contest. Yes, but I, I let my personal feelings get in the way and ruin everything. I'm such a fool. Yes, you are. A fool. King Marsh. But you were those heroes. You made up for my mistake. By Please <laughs> accept my apologies. By totally going behind my back. No, that's okay, but... If you're going to apologize, don't do it to us. Apologize to Marlene. Great honk, I can't do that. <laughs> Great honk. <laughs> no one's going to get what? that. What? Man, double points for anyone who gets that. I think Marlene just wanted to know how you really felt. We know now. That's what I thought when I saw Marlene's sad eyes after you left. R.T. You may be right, young man. But I'm a king. I'm never wrong. I love how he just waltzes down here on his own with, like, no guards or anything. And I wonder if he saw his wife down here. <laughs> wow, that was... Maybe he was looking for his wife. That that adventure went way better than I thought it was going to. I was worried that was going to take us several t attempts. Conga Conga probably will take several attempts. If I don't protect the castle and that monolith, everything will be in danger. But I let my worries make me overly cautious. And I ended up causing you pain. Pain, I say. I realize that now I'm sorry, Moline. He may not be very good at showing it, but deep down he's a good man. Please forgive him, Marlene. Oh, I see. I guess I never really understood what you were going through. Who do I care? <laughs> yeah. Now that the prophecy has been fulfilled, I am free. That applies to you as well. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> you there, clown. Say something funny. Yes. Tell me a joke. She's a handful, but please take care of my daughter while you're on your journey. Yes, sir. Thank you, your majesty. Just don't let this go to your head, okay? Oh, of course not, Marlene. But I can't forgive you, Lambert. Going behind my back like that. Father? I am ready to receive any punishment you care to give me. I remember this. Very well. You are hereby discharged from all 17 of your duties here. Just 17 of them. Or... Father! And you are demoted to the rank of Princess Attendant. <laughs> Sir? What? You must protect Marlene on her travels. Sir! It is an honor to serve you. I will do my very best. Wow, he got so excited he sounds like 10 years younger. Great. So now a chaperone? As soon as we make up, you start worrying about me? Ah, I see. So you two really do care about each other. I'm glad. He's a very devoted father. You should have seen how he panicked when she disappeared. And now we know what we must do. And you've made up with your father, Marlene. Sounds like a happy ending to me. Where's Goffrey? Look at some mm. ugly rabbit balloons. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I guess he was hiding under the tree. I hear you're heading south next, young man. Yes, your majesty. I will protect them on their way. Indeed. Now then, 
It's not... It's not much, but I have a small gift for you. Here, take this castle. It looks like a menu. What is it? It is a monster breeder certificate. It's my way of apologizing, and it's also a token of my thanks. <gasps> I'm an official breeder! <gasps> it's a good dream come true! Wow, congrats, Trevor! Young maiden from Tochika, and all the rest of you, I wish you the best of luck. Very happy accordion music going on. Stomp, stomp. Now then, I guess we're heading towards Konga Konga like the Mindless said, huh? We have to meet a monster called Mao Mao there. Konga Konga, isn't that... Hey, that's my village. It's at the southernmost tip of this continent, if I recall correctly. It's a bit far. Then perhaps we should head for the industrial city of Tungbul in the southwest first. Good idea. Very well. Let's go to Tungbul. Oh my gosh, is this a place I'm worried about? But even if we go to Congo Congo, Congo Congo, we may not be able to meet Mao Mao. We might not be able, even able to see him. What? What's that mean? Hmm, you'll see. And with Goffrey's words preying on everyone's minds, they set off to Tungbul. Mm. Some unexpected happenings were awaiting them in Tungbul, but we'll find out about that soon enough. Hi. Okay, there's one part of the game I always get stuck at, and I'm kind of thinking this might be it. I think it is. Is it the desert? There's a desert place, and I get stuck there forever, because I'm... Yeah. You know the thing about this place? Cat's got your tongue. Uh, this is the place I get stuck at. Well now, we don't often get traveling performers like you here. Hello, ma'am. I can do it. If it's all right, we would like to use this area for our circus. <laughs> Let's just keep changing poor Albert's voice. No need to act so formal, Albert. Make yourself at home. Oh, of course. I should have known you would recognize me. Very well. We'll do just that. Thank you, Principal Grizel. But keep an eye out for you. What? But keep an eye out for you, the Red Orca. Okay. They don't call me that anymore. Was it like the Red Gyarados? Oh, I see. You seem to know a lot about this area, Albert. Yes. Well, I did grow up here after all. Really? I figured you would have come from someplace quieter. Why? But we saw a place like... But we saw a place that was even more active on our way here. Wouldn't it be better there? Well, it's safer here, you see. Oh, I see. By the way, who was that lady talking about when she said, you know who? She never said that. Uh, don't worry about that. All right, let's get ready. I distinctly remember the adventure on this one. I got stuck on it several times, so... Hopefully... I, I'm pretty sure it's this adventure, because it was a desert. I just remember being stuck in a desert for, like, all eternity. <laughs> all eternity. Forever. Lambert. Sorry, I was like, where is Lambert? Lambert, you're amazing. To think you can understand a powerful monster's speech. Yeah, that's a Durahan type. A pure warrior monster. I can't even create them yet. It's nothing special. All you need is pride and trust, and you too can forge a relationship. And you too can have it for $29.99. Sorry, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> pride and trust? Yes, first you have faith in yourself. This is pride. Second, you must trust your partner as an equal. This is trust. <laughs> in your heart, you must always avoid fear and arrogance. Lady Nayuta, look at this ring. What is this? It's a ring. This ring was given <laughs> to me by our king when he commanded me to protect the princess. It is called the ring of trust. Not the ring of pride or arrogance? No. You could say it is the source of my pride. <laughs> but it is not pride. Pride in oneself. Trust towards your partner. Believe in both and you'll forge strong ties. Ah! I'm going to write down you're fighting for pride. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that too. Oh no, she's being... Ah, butterflies! Oh no, she had a bright idea. <laughs> What's happening? It's like some new powers rising up from within. Yay, we can now create Durahan type monsters, which I think we could do anyway. Because I cheated. You know, we might be able to create some using saucers like we couldn't before. Let's try it out. Oh no, not wouldn't the be, flying saucers. Wouldn't that have been hilarious if I already had a Durahan? And she's like, oh, we can get Durahan now. Oh, yes. Oh, you're back. Oh, Lana. She reminds me of Tengar. 
What's the most whiny, obnoxious voice I can give her? Hmm, Albert, is this a friend of yours? It's so good to see you again. <laughs> so good to see your kids? Why didn't you come and see the old Lana straight away? I hate Lana. Hold it a sec. Do you mind telling us who you are? Oh, my apologies. My name is Lana. Al, I mean Albert, and I were good friends when we were children. Huh? Oh, yes. We were very, very close. Very, very. No way. Lana, please, enough for now. You can come back later. Today's a little embarrassing. Oh, are you busy? I'm so sorry to intrude. I'll come back later. John! Bye. I don't know why I gave her such an obnoxious voice. Uh, about what just happened. Uh, didn't happen. So, that's why you wanted to come here. You had a woman here. No, no, no. She's not my woman. She's not even a woman. She looks like she's ten. So she's your ex? You old dog. Who'd have guessed? What? No way. Well, things happen, you know. Er, Goffrey, that's not really an explanation. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, yes. See, now we have someone new. Huh. Someone new. We have a new trainer. I should have gone to talk to him. Bad. All right. Well, it's only 20 minutes in the video. Let's talk to new Yuta. Let's give him a monster. Okay, so if I recall correctly... Ooh, I hope this works. Because I haven't done any of this since I transferred from the PlayStation 3 down to the PlayStation 2. You know what? Actually, hold on. Before I do anything. Save? I'm gonna save, <laughs> yeah. On a different slot? I haven't saved since we started today. Um... Yeah, see, look, I'm stuck in Tung Bull on the game I had before. On this memory card. God, who knows how old that game is. Yeah, look, I might have been able to tell you before you saved over it. No, no, I mean, like, I, I'm sure <laughs> I could have looked in the, the PlayStation menu to find out, but... It's not like it's that important. Or of any importance whatsoever. <laughs> I'm sure it's old. I'm guessing um, you might like a Durahan. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, let's see what Durahans we got. We've got them all. Oh, yes. I'm sure Icon would love it if we Onionite? had that one. Is there an Onion Knight or you just call it an Onion Knight? I just called it an Onion Knight. Vesuvius, a Durahan. Yeah, Ooh, Genocide. Genocider. Yeah, Icon loves Durahans. You know, maybe we should make one just for him since he's not with us anymore. Well, I mean, like, he's just not recording with us anymore. He's fine. <laughs> the way I said that sentence made it sound worse than it was. Ooh, that's cool. It is. Considering his part sways are actually not that bad. Spirit Knight. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, well, I'm pretty sure he likes defense, so we could go with... Okay. That sort of is just really cool. Um, it's a Murakumo. That wouldn't be bad either, because ponchos are naturally defensive, but I'm not sure I can get past that belt he's wearing. It looks kind of dumb. So that would be defense and defense. It would be like incredibly defense monster. Um, uh, no. No. What? Sorry. No, Genocider. Uh, the Vesuvius is pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys decide. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop for now. I'll be uploading this in the morning anyway, so, um, and I will let you guys choose. So we're gonna, we're gonna pick a defensive monster. So what other defense monsters? So y'all have seen all the Durahans I've got, which are all the Durahans. Of course, you guys know what my vote is. It's the Aqua Knight, but, you know. Aqua Knight. I feel kind of bad because I had already decided all the monsters before, and so I already have a list of monsters you guys would like me to raise for the next round, but, um, we're making pretty good progress in the story. So anyways, gels are good defense. I'm not a fan of this style of gel, but I'll just show them off so you guys can like look at it and decide. Actually, the funny thing is my favorite gels are still from Monster Rancher 3. And they look kind of silly. The first ones aren't so bad either. Like I, I liked the first ones a little better than these just because I, like, they had less hands and more like tentacles. And they just looked cooler. They, okay, uh, Guyton's no... Is Mono defensive? Monos aren't in this one, I don't think. Uh, we got golems. Oh yeah, the Gobi. I like Eagle King. It's one of my favorites. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, not rabbits. Uh, not hangars. Jokers. Raid. No, not raidens. I don't think raidens have amazing defense. These guys have defense. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> I like ponchos in this game. As you can see, I had one in my other game. Nutcho. Whoa, check that out. He's already got level 3 defense. Crazy. Wow. A jack in the show. <laughs> um, I don't think technically plants are classified as having good defense. I actually don't know about these guys. I'm not... They're, they're kind of an overall look monster. Look at it. So I'm just going to go ahead and list Aww. these. Aww. No, I'll go ahead and just put these on the list. I mean, I, I think they could do defense. Especially if we had one that was like part Durahan, if there is one. I don't think I saw one, though. Oh, oh my gosh. Potter would love that. Okay, Ripper's no on defense. Um, not Suezos. I know nothing about Zans, so I'll just go ahead and show them off real quick. And yes, I plan Ooh. to do a video, like I always do, of all the monsters. We'll go through them all. But this is just so you guys can see if you like one. I'm not familiar with Zans at all, so... They don't look defensive. No, I don't think they do. Okay, yeah, Maya's no. No, we got one, got one. Okay, so back to the beginning. Alright, so I'm gonna let you guys make a decision on what we should have for him. And we'll see you guys next time when we give him whatever y'all vote on. If I don't get enough votes for anything, then you'll probably end up being the um, Aqua Knight. He looks pretty cool. Aqua Knight! I, I, I've never had an Aquanauts, is that what you just said? Uh-huh. Uh, I Octonauts is what you're talking about, not Aquanauts. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time, and we will get a new monster and explore this new area, which I don't remember having fond memories of, but maybe, maybe I'm thinking of a different one? I don't know. It's been a long time since I played this game, so... Anyways, bye for now. Goodbye.